Hey, how's it going today? It's 20th of February, Tuesday, and we are taking a look at the market for kind of potential all of that. Uh, let's continue taking a look at Hong Kong and uh, let's try to understand the process, right? Perhaps so we can begin by <laughs> send me a pitch deck, right? <laughs> uh, so there might be a presentation of why myself or others will consider entering this market, right? But <laughs> let's take a look at uh, capture business opportunities in Hong Kong, driving innovation and technology ecosystem. Uh, it's not a, a promotion, right? I'm not getting paid for this, so I'm considering if I should be reading it. Uh, backed by strong government support in line with National 14 uh five year plan okay so we're planning those every five years opportunities in greater bay area uh, that might be important hong kong has taken a leap towards building a sustainable and connected ecosystem this conductive innovation and technology environment has sparked increasing public and private sector sector collaborations with ecosystem partnerships embracing the global view of to innovate them at speed and scale. So that might be something, I guess, innovating in Hong Kong. And there's a consulting company uh, who prepared the right? I'm uh, delighted to present that in the depth on this of Hong Kong's current innovation and technology landscape. Why well, have we picked this particular structure is that the research and development, uh, there's a set standard, we keep jumping around, so it, it, it's just, uh, Everyone wants to be different, I guess. <laughs> and you, <laughs> and you, new place, walking to a bar, and everyone, <laughs> you would like everyone to take a look at what you are wearing, so, <laughs> so they say. <laughs> that's that's the case here. <laughs> it's just uh, the, I don't know. I don't know. The report highlights Hong Kong's uh, milestones in innovation <laughs> technology and its immense potential to transform into an international <laughs> hub. The report also details Hong Kong's key uh, segments, life and health science. Okay, okay. Uh, there might be a lot of opportunities when it comes to UK or perhaps there's a lot of push for people to tackle these kind of issues. I think other parts uh, or parts of Europe is doing a lot of work. Uh, Danish companies is doing a lot in this kind of sector. I don't know about UK. UK is investing a lot, <laughs> but I don't know if they're doing a lot in this area. But either way, perhaps every time then the UK is uh, begin doing a lot, they would sell this company to other uh, governments, right? Uh, from there, let's progress artificial intelligence and robotics smart cities and information communications and technologies. Uh, there might be promising technologies, right? Okay, coming into this, right, I'm looking to reach out and establish partnerships if I can't straight away. Uh, so there's someone who did a lot of work, right, when it comes to preparing this presentation. Now let's see if uh, we're gonna ca carry on <laughs> And uh, do follow ups and re reaching out, uh, all those good things, right? Uh, so, there might be a lot of big words in this presentation, but usually uh, uh, everything will fall flat. That's my personal experience. But uh, to be more optimistic about all this, <laughs> if we can, I guess. Uh, what I'm interested in, uh, let's try to understand uh, there's a full presentation, right? President Xi visited Hong Kong science parks, so I'm interested in those. In this GN demonstration, the importance and our acknowledgement places Hong Kong in from of uh, development by central government. Uh, I'll skip some information I don't think is that relevant. Uh, uh, international centers, perhaps there might be some opportunities there. Uh, business parks, science parks, I think that's how it's been defined, as well as I have seen something else. Uh, there's a lot of talent pools, vibrant, everyone's <laughs> very vibrant. I have seen some startups uh, well, <laughs> uh, as well as South Korea, dude. so it depends, right? So there are some uh, people up there who are tackling massive issues, right? That are ch challenging, enormous, <laughs> vibrant. 
we likely goes brought by technology advancements in the development of Hong Kong Cynthia International Information Center. Uh, with mainland protection development international hub in the greater bay area let's try to understand where this uh, uh greater bay area is well having good links might be important what i'm going to be looking for is uh, business parks and science parks right and i uh, might be looking for if there is any incentives so those incentives can be many different ways so there might be financial incentives many things right it might be some tax incentives in coming in and setting up your business in a particular location, right? As of now, uh, it's just a science box, and from there we can progress into a more detailed uh, understanding of uh, what we require and what process can be. Uh, let's progress the science box. It's uh, the way how they would structure this picture. Uh, you could get a feel of it in New York, like. <laughs> But either way, that's a representation of why would anyone consider uh, setting up operations within different parts, right? Uh, I, I could briefly take a look at it, not necessarily for myself or others, right? The springboard for growth, okay? Infrastructure support, collaborative research. Myself, I'm interested in people, uh, and I think that it comes to you. Uh, tackling uh, massive issues, they have very, very talented individuals. So, so myself coming into this, if I'm gonna have very challenging task, uh, I will be looking for those kind of people. Advanced research facilities. That's why I'm interested. I, I think they are located in science park. So it would be Hong Kong Science and or Technology Park, uh, Cyberport. <laughs> okay, okay, and the upcoming Hong Kong's. Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park, right, right, and there might be something that equipment, uh, moreover, it's into a park at, uh, there's the names there, I won't be able to pronounce all those. Or for industrial space with more than 210 hectares of manufacturing facilities, so that's, so would be myself coming into access to funding okay easy access to funding not necessary but let's take a look at as a uh, financial hub hong kong has a mature financial system and host one of the largest stock exchanges in the world a wider range of uh, uh, i don't know i don't know that really perhaps for scaling not necessarily in the beginning we can take a look at those as well uh, briefly right that's really just a part of presentation i don't know about this 84 percent right but either way, it's, it's so perhaps thriving startup community. So perhaps that might be infrastructure there, which would be great for people when it comes to expanding, right? So that would be over 13,000 or so uh, people employed by startups. So how many startups increased number of startups over the past decade reaching 3.7? 3,755 a decade, so how many years in 10 years? So, okay, okay, so it's <laughs> okay, okay, let's look at Entire presentation is always close uh, around 70 pages, right? So I'm on the page 37 or so. It's way too much of my time, right? Uh, reading uh, <laughs> some, some of this data, right? Uh, data information presented, everything's okay, let's progress. <laughs> Let's take a look at Hong Kong Science Technology Parks collaboration, right? Let's uh, reach out and see if I uh, just take a look at this presentation was completed uh, perhaps two or three, perhaps even longer, uh, many, many months ago, right? Uh, so let's see if there's still a lot of energy there, there's still people active and uh, things are happening. Uh, yourself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a, a journal that would be and flow within this journal, I'm taking a look at very important area that will be your time and best way of managing your time when it comes to achieving what you uh, would be looking to set for yourself, uh, strategic goals, targets, and how to achieve those. And uh, this could potentially be a system of how to do it, right? It's structured so it would be a quarter. Yeah, usually to develop a habit, it would take 70 days, that would be 90 if you were to stick with a system and work. Uh, with it from cover to cover, as well as every page would be a 24 hour window, and what would be required for you to do every single day, have identified particular areas of where to begin and uh, where to start, 
but I would highly recommend sticking to those before making any changes. So if you're interested in learning more, there's going to be a QR code in the corner coming to the south side below. Well, that would be something that I would be looking for, right? So that would be in a parks managed by it. Perhaps there's a larger group of organizations and there uh, might be a lot of parks, right? Depending on the problem. They have highlighted on the pre, there might be more than that, but either way, so that would be just uh, some of the examples. Data Technology Hub, uh, Advanced Manufacturing Center, uh, Micro Electronics Center, uh, Precision Manufacturing Center, and Mars Center, covering a total gross floor area. Okay, <laughs> okay. Center for right facilities here. Manufacturing medical uh, accessory, resilient supplies, medical equipment. Uh, okay, okay. Why they call it Mars? <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting. Let's go. Let's close on that. <laughs>